Customer Marianne recently posted the comment on our blog, when lining your own envelopes, what kind of glue should I use and where should I apply it so that it doesn't make a visible lump? Many glues seem to leave the telltale homemade signs. Also, how far down into the envelope do you typically place the liner? To answer your question, Marianne, we use the acrylic liner template and lined three different A7 envelopes with Japanese Chiyagami paper. To test, we used a glue marker on envelope one, zip dry on envelope two, and double-sided tape dots on envelope three. Our first test was with the glue marker, and to test, we just placed a small amount of glue around the edge of the flap, none down here, just again, a little bit around the edge, and we pressed the flap down. Using just a bit of glue marker around the edge holds the flap in securely, but you can see a little bit of glue through the liner paper. The next test was with zip dry paper glue. Again, we just put a little bit around the edge. This dried very flat and with no presence of glue whatsoever. Zip dry is actually great for paper crafts because it's known to not wrinkle paper. Our third test was with double sided tape or dots. All I did here was place three dots under the liner. Again, none down here. Flap is secure and it's nice and smooth no bumps whatsoever. So it seems of the three adhesive options that LCI offers, zip dry and dots are your best bet because there are no bumps. Those lumps or telltale homemade signs, by the way, are from using too much glue. In this case, I put a bunch of glue underneath and you can see that the envelope sort of bows out here and there's very visible bumps underneath even when you close it. So no matter which adhesive you decide to use, the key is just, again, don't use too much um, or just a bit around the edge and don't even worry about gluing down here. To answer your second question, how far down into the envelope should the liner go? This is really just a matter of preference. Using our liner templates, the liner goes about halfway down to about here. But of course, if you want to create your own custom fully lined envelopes, by all means, you can do so. If you have any further questions about lining your own envelopes, get in touch with us.